Okay, so usually, usually my videos consist of like day in a life, what I do, etc. Today is a different type of video. Most of you guys that are, that are already subscribed to my YouTube probably know me from uh, Instagram or TikTok, which on, on those platforms, I'm usually, I guess people know me for, uh, I guess, fashion, you know, outfits. I make outfits, I post pictures, make videos about it. This video is mostly for young people. Actually, the age doesn't really matter, of course, because fashion, it's for everyone. But I would say usually you get into fashion between, I don't know, 14 to, I guess, forever. But I would say if you're between 14 to like 19, so if you're a teenager still, then just keep on watching this video. So uh, today's topic is... Uh, so the topic is how to dress better. If you're a teenager, you know, you don't. So that means you're limited in money. So you have to use the money well. So how to dress better as a teenager? It's it's a hard topic because teenager could be any age. So, you know, for, for example, someone that's 14, I guess, doesn't work yet most of the time. So they would have a bit less money to spend on compared to someone that's 19 and that has a job and etc. So this topic is gonna change from every perspective of age, but, cause first of all, I just wanna say, if you wanna, I guess, have a rotation of fun outfits and fashion related stuff, and you wanna like, enjoy fashion, of course you don't have, you don't need one million dollars to do that stuff, but you still need like, a good amount of money to be capable of buying the the clothes or the accessories or even if it's thrifting and it's cheaper it, you still would need money so that's that's like the first thing about fashion so if you want to dress better i guess you need money but here's the thing though because i'm trying to explain that money is you need money but you don't need a lot of money to dress well this is something that a lot of people already said but i don't think it's said enough because every single time when you look at trends and everything on, about fashion, it's usually things where you need money. Rick Owens, Stussy. But for example, even Adidas, Sambas, it's a really cheap pair, but at the end, since those cheap pairs were not enough, people started to buy the Adidas Sambas or Gazelles collab with Gucci. So I, again, that's something where you would need money to buy. So, you know, at the end, people that want to stay in the trend, you would need money. It's always Stussy. For example, right now, the big eight ball Stussy thing that's popular, or even all the New Balances shoes, they're not cheap, you know? But those are trends though. And I'm gonna be talking about trends soon, because trends are, is a big thing in fashion. People that wanna stay in the big, big trend cycle would need a lot of money, because it's always new stuff, always expensive stuff. So I guess in that case, yes. But when you're young and you're a teenager and you don't want to necessarily buy all the expensive stuff money wise you don't need a lot because if you go to a thrift store you're easily capable of building an outfit out of like a pair of jeans a pair of shirt a pair of shoes and a, a couple of accessories a couple of accessories maybe in, in total that's probably like if you buy them all thrift maybe the shoes are a bit expensive but even if with the shoes probably like less than a hundred as you can see you don't have to be really really rich to buy it to have good style so i don't really like when people make an excuse of like sometimes i'm on instagram i look at a fit pic and i see the comments and it's like oh i wish i was rich or like i wish i had money he has good style because he has money it's not false you know i'm not saying it's false yes when you have money you could have better style because you have more choice of clothes and everything so it looks like you have better style because it's always something new and humans usually tend to like new stuff because we get bored of the old stuff. And those comments that say like, oh, I, I wish I was rich to have fashion style kind of pisses me off because me, for example, I don't, I'm not rich. You know, I, I spend the minimum. For example, the fit I'm wearing right now, like, I don't know, th this is not even a fit for me to go outside. This is my usual fit when I'm in the house. A tank top that I got from, uh, I don't even know, this t-shirt that I thrifted for, I think it was like, like, like five bucks these pants that i've thrifted as well for uh, for like i don't know like 30. it's not it doesn't have to be that expensive for it to have a like a simple fit yes it, you know it's not stussy it's not the most trendy thing in the world but it's still something that i guess i could post a fit pic and people that like it like it you know next thing that's really important apart from money is trends which is the hard part because you know 
Even I say sometimes, a lot of people say on social media, people usually say, dress however you want, dress like you want, and you'll have good style because that's your style. But in my opinion, I don't, I don't think that's necessarily valid. I don't think it's that like valid because yes, if you dress however you want, you'll have good style because it's your style. So just, you know, don't you, you shouldn't care about what other people think about your style. You have good style. It's true and false. It's true and false. It's uh, let me explain. I'll start with why I think it's true. At the end of the day, fashion is something that's for everyone. There's no like you have to dress like this or this or this. It's just what however you want to style yourself. It's your body. It's your life. You do whatever you want. So that's why I'm, I'm I think it's kind of true that if you dress however you want, you'll have good style because it's your personal style. The reason why this statement is a bit false it's because of trends. Trends is one of the biggest things in fashion in, in these days in our generation, especially because of TikTok. And TikTok is a platform that goes really quick. Every month there's a new trend in fashion or in general. It's really complicated to have good fashion style because fashion style, yes, per maybe personally, you think I dress however I want, I have good style. But for example, people that wear Nike tech fleeces, in my opinion, that's not good style, but they think it's the best style in the world. So if you want to have a good style in general, like that most people would think you have a good style, it's, it's really complicated. You're going to have to dress trendy, but not too trendy. Because if you dress too trendy, people are going to say, oh, you, you're just doing this because it's a trend. And they're going to comment mean stuff because you're trendy. People don't like when we wear trendy stuff, but they will. So what are we supposed to do, right? That's the question. So instead of wearing trendy stuff, if you start wearing stuff that you personally like, they're going to come back and say, that's not trendy enough. People are always going to judge even if you wear trendy stuff or non-trendy stuff. But now what you can do, you have to be in between. So for example, buy stuff that looks trendy, but it's not exactly the trendy item. For example, it's the Stussy 8 ball thing really trendy that's the item that was trendy like that specific item was trendy and also uh like parachute pants these days are really trendy so what are you gonna do here you can keep the parachute pants that's trendy enough and people are most likely not gonna hate on you because it's not specific okay just don't buy fast fashion because that's a, yeah instead of buying this 800 bucks reselled eight boss to see you can buy this a really similar you know, jacket, you combine that with the parachute pants and then you wear whatever shoe you want. If you want to wear it, because shoes at the end of the day, especially if you wear parachute pants, you can't really see them because it's going to go on top. The pants are on top of the shoes. Less people are going to be on your ass for being on a trend because you don't have this specific jacket. It's just something similar. It's like mixing trendy stuff with your own personal taste and making a great outfit that's original, but also trendy just don't wear skinny jeans if there's no skinny jeans then you're fine it's better to stay at least the, like in the trend and do the bare minimum at least which is not wear skinny jeans that's the bare minimum in 2023 talking about personal style you have to find your personal style as well for example for me i finally found my personal style which is more of a streetwear thrifted type of fashion style i usually tend to mix those personal styles with trendy stuff or with like more like a classic wardrobe type of thing. That doesn't make sense, that's not English. And to find that style, for me, it took time. I personally just started getting into fashion about two years ago. This was my style before. And then so on and so on and so on, it got a little bit better. That's what I'm saying. Find your personal style. For example, more classic, unique clothes stuff, you know, monochrome stuff after. So one color, simple colors, it's simple. And then if, if that's your style, you stay there. You just stay there and you keep improving your personal style with other new accessories and anything. You can learn, you can upgrade your personal style. But if you try the monochrome stuff and you don't enjoy and you want to add more colors, you go thrifting. I also have to talk about having confidence in yourself as well because most likely if you wear stuff that you personally like, if someone else that doesn't like that style looks at you, sees you, that person may talk shit about your style. What you have to do here is look at the uh, other person that told you that, that talked shit. Take a moment, just close your, okay, don't close your eyes. Of course, open your eyes, look at the person and think, does he have a better style than me? If he does dress better than you and he talks shit about you, then maybe he's right. So maybe he can help you, you know? There's nothing wrong with taking advice from someone that dresses better than you. But if you look at him and he doesn't, he dresses like shit, 
and he talks shit about your style, just ignore that. You know, that's I think that's all I need to talk about like, in this video.